Getting and paying for health care is a challenge for many Texans. That makes it one of the key issues for voters in the March primary. Over the past few months, we've been bringing you interviews with the Democratic candidates for U.S. Senate. They each have slightly different ideas on ways to improve the health care system. Two of the candidates told us they support Medicare for all, mostly eliminating private insurance. That will guarantee every person will have health care and health care as a human right, as well as um, ending the for-profit health care system, ending the, um, the donut hole that most people uh, have to get with health insurance once they get over a certain age. Uh, ensuring that the maternal mortality rate is lowered by raising the standard of health care. And like most other countries, um, ensuring that the health care uh, standard is raised across the board to ensure that the health insurance industry and their lobbyists don't dictate what the minimum standard of care is. The reason why I support Medicare for All isn't just because it's one of the most popular policies in the country. I think it's particularly important for Texas because as long as we have had um, a health care industry that has profited where private insurance companies have profited off of our pain, our suffering, and illness, it has resulted in the most expensive healthcare system in the world with some of the worst outcomes of any industrialized nation. Mm -hmm. That is, by any measure, a failed system. I want the best system, the most uh, affordable system, that will give the best quality care. The other top candidates told us they support a public option, but also the option for people to keep private health insurance plans. I think there's going to have to be a public option if the private insurance companies are ever going to play fairly with consumers. While I think the Affordable Care Act was a big step in the right direction, it did a lot more for accessibility than it did for affordability. And there are those who like their private insurance plans, and I don't want to see them taken away, but for others who have really found this whole system would be a nightmare. I do think they should have the ability to, to buy into a public option. Not know. Medicare for all, but rather okay. having a fix to the Affordable Care Act that mm -hmm. allows you the option. So mm -hmm. you can either have uh, affordable public, an affordable public option or employer-based coverage as it currently stands today. I know one big thing that happened when the Affordable Care Act got passed is that some people were very worried or concerned about losing their choices with respect to their doctors. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, preserve and listen to the things that people complained about and then actually proffer solutions to some of those challenges. First of all, we've got to figure out who the president's going to be because the president will lead from that. But you can be assured that um, what I will make certain of is that pre-existing conditions are uh, one of the provisions that we'll have. We'll, we will improve on the uh, Obamacare legislation. I'm still uh, a person that believes that if a person wants to have choice, in terms of health care, they should be able to have that. Persons who want to be able to get involved in uh, a government-sponsored program should be able to do that. I was working for a health care network when I had my first pre-existing condition growing in my belly, my first kiddo, um, and I was getting laid off from my job, and I was terrified. And I thought back to when was I taken the best care of, and it was when I was in the military under uh, TRICARE, which is basically Medicare for military. So. Um, I wish that I could have gotten back to that uh, at the time, and, and I want all of my neighbors and my family and my friends to have access to Medicare. We should open eligibility up to everybody, but we can't forget that we're a nation and a state of freedom and choices, and that we should leave that as a choice for people. We asked the candidates about their views on immigration, gun control, and other issues. You can see those full interviews online now. Just look for this story in the Texas Politics section of this station's website.